And just like that, it's finally here. You know what I'm talking about. But while much of the news was centered around the Nexus 5 this week, there was plenty of other news to go around. Hey, it's Joshua Garf from Android Authority. What's going on, everybody? And it's time for another dose of the week's top Android news. It's Android Weekly. Before we get into all of the Nexus 5 and Android 4.4 KitKat, however, let's take care of a couple of announcements that also happened this week. The curved display craze is starting to pick up steam, especially since a lot of the rumors are starting to become true. And we start off with LG's camp. The G Flex has been made official. Sporting a top to bottom curve, this 6 inch phone going against the curve is also providing some very nice specifications. The Snapdragon 800, a 13 megapixel camera, and a 3500 milliamp hour battery all come in this smartphone whose button layout is also on the back, a la the G2. It's also coming sooner than later, at least in Korea, as major carriers will get the G Flex this month. In Motorola's camp, some really interesting developments are afoot. Anybody that saw that innovative and creative phone blocks campaign can look to Motorola for what looks like a very substantial conceptualization. Called Project Aura, this new way of looking at our smartphones has apparently been in the works for about a year, and involves devices that are essentially endoskeletons into which modules for different features can be inserted. The result is a smartphone that is not only completely customizable, but can provide a sustainable system for just about any customer. While all of this is just a concept at the moment, it's an idea that is certainly gaining steam and we're really excited to see where it may go. And finally, let's get into what was one of the most anticipated, but also one of the worst kept secrets of 2013. Yep, I'm talking about the Google Nexus 5. In a partnership with LG and Google, we get a great smartphone that maybe we didn't get a big press event for, but that didn't stop the Nexus 5 from becoming sold out pretty much immediately. The excellent Snapdragon 800 processor makes it onto your Nexus experience and should help what was a somewhat controversially small 2300 mAh battery unit. Perhaps the part of the Nexus 5 everyone is wondering about is the camera, which might be an 8 megapixel shooter but does feature optical image stabilization. My review of the Nexus 5 is on its way, but you can check out Jace's video giving you everything you need to know about the launch, and then you can see our articles at androidauthority.com pitting the Nexus 5 against a lot of the competition, even the Nexus 4. Also, at the time of filming this edition of Weekly, either color of the 16GB model will take 3-4 to four weeks to leave the warehouse while the 32GB models will take 2-3. to three. If you want to get your hands on the Nexus 5 as soon as possible, maybe one way you can do it is by checking out our Sunday giveaway for this week, because we are giving one away. The Nexus 5 hardware is not the only star of the show, however, as a lot of Google software acumen has been updated to go along with it as well. We start with an update to Google Hangouts. Now you are able to share your location and play animated GIFs to people you are chatting with. Many are very happy, especially with the much anticipated update to SMS support. This is only one part of the entire picture, however, and that picture is of course the newly minted Android 4.4 KitKat. Joining a slew of new optimizations dubbed Projects Felt are a lot of cleaned up design elements and a better and badder Google search experience. Now when you are on your home screens, saying OK Google will bring up a voice controlled Google search. Caller ID now taps into Google search to provide you the names of callers that may not be in your phone book. And the phone app will automatically prioritize your contacts while searching for nearby businesses and places that you may be interested in. Joe Hindi, our app guy, took a very in-depth look at all that Android 4.4 KitKat has to offer, so you can definitely check out that video for our or our full written article for all of the details. And for those of you who want to have the Nexus 5 experience but can't get the smartphone just yet, many of the APKs from the 4.4 build have been extracted and made available to the masses. Joe has collected all of these links and has listed them at androidauthority.com. The new Hangouts, the Nexus 5 wallpapers, and even the Google Experience Launcher are available for you to check out. Speaking of the Google Experience Launcher, we take a closer look at Android 4.4 KitKat and find how the new launcher is actually basically just Google Search. Ars Technica delved deep into the Android 4.4 KitKat build and found that the original Google Home Launcher has been done away with and was replaced with what is essentially a beefed up Google Search. Essentially everything you see on the home screens is being drawn from the Google Search code. Google Home still exists, but doesn't work without Search installed. It's unclear what this might mean for OEMs who create their own versions of the Android operating system, but at least in the case of the Nexus 5, it's absolutely clear now that this move allowed for a streamlined search experience that included features like the always-on voice control. 
And so, there you have it for this edition of Android Weekly. As always, thank you guys very much for watching, and like I said before, my Nexus 5 is on its way, and I can't wait to get that review out for you guys. Keep it tuned to Android Authority for all of the Nexus 5 coverage. We have a ton of content that will be ready and available for you, so you can get to know everything you need to know about this phone that, I don't know, maybe some of you haven't purchased yet, but I know a lot of you probably have. Stay tuned to Android Authority for all of the best coverage, because we're your source for all things Android.